Yo, what is up YouTube? Today we have a very special video. This is going to be teaching you how to be better at Call of Duty. And I know what you're probably going to say, you know, how can you say that you're good at Call of Duty whenever you use reverse boost accounts? Well, today I've told you guys before, but I'm going to show you one. This is a DNA with my main account that has a 2KD. Well, at least used to have a 2KD. I think it has like maybe a 1.7 now. But, you know, either way, it is like... It's, it's a normal account. It's probably what you guys are going to be using, if not just a little bit harder matches to find because of that 1.7. I'm not saying you don't have a 1.7, but I'm just saying it's, I don't know, this game, 1.7, I think is pretty good. A 2 is very good, but I've lost it. So let's just go ahead and hop into it. The first thing that you need to know about how to get good at Call of Duty is that you need a good headset. You need a very acceptable headset. Do not use the thing that my the Xbox One came with that little bitty thing that you know has a little antenna that sticks down to your mouth. Don't don't use that. It's like a little disc on your ear. That does nothing for you. That lets you talk to your friends. Okay, maybe you can hear some game sound, but I'm thinking that it comes through the TV. And if I know anything about TV audio, is that it's stereo. But not only is it stereo, you cannot hear a single thing, but all of the sounds blurred into one direction. So why I'm saying this is you need to go ahead and pick up a Dolby Digital surround sound headset if you want to improve your game. I'm telling you, if you're... If you are used to get going 50 and 10, so a 5KD a game, I mean, that's kind of unreasonable. So I'm just going to say at least you get a 2KD a game or a 1KD. I'm going I'm to keep it simple at a 1KD. I know I just changed it from a 10 to a 5 to a 1, but I'm going to keep it simple or a 5 to a 2, whatever. So if you're used to going 1, you know, even 18 and 18, 20 and 20, so on and so forth, I guarantee you that your games after you purchase the Dolby Digital headset will jump. It'll spike to a 1.5 to a 1.6 KD guaranteed a game. It's very needed for a good headset. Next, improve your gun skill. Now, Advanced Warfare was very kind to let us have a shooting range. So if you can go in that first booth and knock, knock those numbers down, you know, knock out all of the targets within the lowest amount of seconds, just keep doing that, you can very easily improve your gun skill. But you're still not going to be as good as someone that's been playing for years. That's what we do as Call of Duty players. That's why I've been playing since Black Ops Original, always improving my gun skill. And I still do not have the best gun skill. Next, do not play solo. I know this is kind of hard and people are like, if my friends are not on, but you know, you can always make friends. There's always 12 new people in a lobby every time you search for a lobby. And you know, back them on for three days, that's what I had to do. If my friends were not on, I made it a point to meet with someone, you know, that I could play with for the day. Might not add them on my friends list because I'm not a big person on adding a lot of people to my friends list because I'm not going to play with them, you know. I'm going to play with it at one time, but then most of the time my friends are on. So, next, do not lose morale. And that's kind of hard to say because if you are getting just slammed to the ground, if you are just actually getting thrashed on, it's kind of hard not to have a bad attitude, but you have to remember that you have to have a good attitude. If you go in thinking that you're going to die, that this team's so much better than you. Something that uh, me and my friend Mr. Ancestor Human uses is, you know, we say, oh, we're pros. We can do this. And instantly, after we say we're pros, our game changes. It's all about morale. So if you can have a good attitude, you're pretty much going to have a good game. Next, and this is the big one. This is the, the packet that keeps it all in. Do not do the same thing. Everyone wants to run the same place all the time, and they get pissed because they keep dying. And I'm just saying, like, if you keep running, if you're sprinting from your spawn to one point, all I have to do on the other team is sit somewhere and kill you. And then you get mad that they're camping. I applaud them camping. If I saw someone that kept coming to the same spot, you better believe I'd be sitting in a corner picking up that free kill. So those are the five tips. I'm gonna throw an extra one in there just for just for the viewers that are watching this. Subscribe to my channel and like this video. I know I know that sounds like I'm just trying to get you to subscribe, but seeing as how Black Ops 3 is coming out and Advanced Warfare is still in the mix, I'm gonna be coming out with these videos all the time if you guys like it. So let me know in the comment section if you did enjoy this and let me know if this is helping you at all. 
I watched one of these in Mono for 3, and I swear I will put my name to this. As soon as I got done watching one of these videos, I had the best game of my life. And, I mean, it doesn't sound like much, but I went 30 and 7, and that was crazy for back then. You know, I was one of those players that struggled to keep it positive. So, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you next time.